Let's talk about the Derive node. The Derive node offers six methods to create a new field. In this video, we're going to talk about deriving a new field as a conditional. The Derive node is located in the field ops palette. This node modifies data values or creates new fields from one or more existing fields. When you use a derive node as a conditional, it uses a series of if-then statements to derive the values of the new field. So we see what our data looked originally on the left. The table on the right has a new field, customer type, that was created based on a collection of if-then statements that determined if the customer was a premium customer and the number of years that we had that person as a customer. So if they met the certain criteria on either number of years as a customer or whether they were a premium customer, they were classified as a valued customer. Otherwise, they were classified as a regular customer. Let's go through an example of how to use a derive node, and this time we're going to derive a field as a conditional. So we're going to go down to the field ops palette, and we're going to connect the numeric payment method derive node to a new derive node. We're going to edit the new derive node. And the name of this new derive node is going to be customer type. We're going to derive this field not as a formula, but as a conditional. So when we're deriving a field as a conditional, it's going to be creating a new field based on a collection of if then else statements. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to specify the if statement. So what we're going to end up having is we're going to have two new values for this new field customer type. We're going to have valued customers and regular customers. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to specify in the if box what the condition is to have defined a valued customer. So we're going to click on the expression builder next to the if box. And a valued customer is going to be any customer that has been a customer for more than five years. So we're going to click on the uh, parentheses. We're going to get the uh, variable uh, years as customer. We're going to uh, click on the uh, greater than sign, and we're going to put in the number five. Okay. So anybody that's been a customer for more than five years is going to be considered a valued customer. We'll uh, click outside of the parentheses. Or the other criteria is that they are rated as a premium customer. So again, we're going to click on the parentheses. We're going to select the field premium. We'll click on the equal sign and we'll click on the field values button and put in a value of true. So those are our criteria for somebody to be a valued customer. They've either have been a customer for more than five years or with, the, uh, with regard to being a premium customer, they have a value of true. We'll click OK. We're then going to specify that that's the criteria for being a valued customer. So in quotes, we're going to put in value in the then box. And then everybody else is going to be a regular customer. So in quotes, we'll put in regular. OK, now we specified our criteria for a valued customer, and everybody else is a regular customer. We'll click OK. We're now going to connect the customer type derive node to a table. We're going to run our table now. We can see, for example, that the first customer had been a customer for six years. We see that that person was not a premium customer. However, they still are a valued customer because they've been a customer for a long amount of time. We see, for example, in row number four, we have a regular customer. This is somebody that was not a premium customer. And if we look at the number of years as a customer, in row four, we see that they've only been a customer for four years. So that's why they were classified as a regular customer. So we'll close out of this window. And that's an example of how you can use a derive node so that you can derive a field as a conditional.